I'm not trying to try to say hello when I look like Yeah, my book my special exemption book. We're live. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody said everybody's my phone? Oh. is a regular meeting in public hearing being held at the architectural review planning board of town council of florida on thursday february 24th 2022 at 8 30 a.m in the william f coke jr commission chambers of the town hall 100 c road Gulfstream, florida thank you rita good morning everyone rita would you do a roll call please certainly mr doherty here Vice Chair Murphy? Here. Mrs. Jones? Here. Mr. Roche? Here. Chairman Smith? Here. And let the record show also that Town Manager Gregory Dunham and Town Attorney Edward Nazaro and myself are also here. And Mrs. Smith is absent with notice. Thank you, Rita. I hope you've all had a chance to review the draft of the minutes of our special meeting on Thursday, February 3rd. Uh, does anyone have any uh, corrections, amendments, or suggestions to them? If not, could I have a motion to approve? I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Moved and seconded, Rita. Mr. Doherty? Yes. Vice Chair Murphy? Yes. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mr. Roche? Yes. And Chairman Smith? Yes. Thank you, Rita. Are there any additions, withdrawals, deferrals, or arrangements to the agenda item? I believe there are. Rita, would you tell us? Is it item uh, one? Yes. Okay. It's uh, the first item on your agenda. <clears throat> it was a return, and it's for uh, Edelson's. Uh, it was. Uh, we received a call from them yesterday and uh, they asked to postpone it till the march meeting which is march the 24th and uh, advised that they are having a, a second architect come in and give his opinion and so they are not ready to share that with us until next month Thank you, Rita. So they'll bring us all new plans, or, or we don't know what we we're going to see. We, we don't know. Okay, thank change. you. <laughs> um, you have in front of you the meeting dates, which we discuss every month. Next is March 24th, as Rita just suggested. Again, if any of those dates you know you're not going to be here, would you please let either Renee or Rita know right away? For now, March 24th, how do we look? I think I might be next month. Okay. I think I'm okay. Not I'm skiing. Good. good. Okay. Thank you. Ahead. So Mandy may be absent. <laughs> Will be absent, right, Mandy? Yeah. Okay. We'll now start the public portion of the, of the hearing today. Is there any uh, declaration of ex parte communication? No. None. Thank you. Um, Rita, would you administer the oath to all those who may speak today? Sure. <clears throat> Anyone who may speak, please rise. Raise your right hand. You solemnly swear to tell the truth, hold truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yeah. Make sure that the girls have uh, your name before you leave today. Gregory Jones. Thank you. All right. Uh, first up is the application submitted by Gregory Jones for uh, David Andres and Olivia Lyons. And Olivia here to see us here today. Okay. Thank you. Proceed. Good morning. My name is Greg Jones. I'm the president of Gregory Jones Architecture in Delray Beach. And the I will be presenting this morning the proposed new residence at 4225 uh, North County Road for Olivia Lyons and David Indris. Our first graphic shows a artist's rendition of the finished proposed project. It is in the preferred Gulfstream Bermuda vernacular, which is evidenced by the use of symmetry decorative shutters, truss tail, but, uh, uh, visible truss tails, excuse me, and flat cement tile.
The proposed structure is harmonious in relation to its surroundings, neighborhood structures, and is efficient in its design and how the structure addresses the property. On our next sheet. Oops, oops. <laughs> Up on the screen, we have the locator map, which shows that it is uh, a little ways up north of us on North County Road, and it is a dry lot. The, uh, the challenge that this lot presented, presented was that the, the size of the lot gave a challenge of having a small footprint of a, of a new residence. It also had impacts on the uh, proposition of installing an ancillary uh, item, which would be a, a lap pool, which we did include in the back. Uh, but the main pros were to provide privacy and screening to all neighbors that it uh, abutted. And the casual passerby, thank you. The casual passerby will get a glimpse of the front elevation only. And uh, the next couple of pictures. I go back. The the subject property is has been graded and um, has no existing structure on it now. It did in the future or it did in the past. And as you as you go by the area, you'll see that it is um, basically graded and ready for construction, prep for construction. While you're right there, just quickly, what's this notation about a manhole cover on there? Do you know what that is? It seems a little written. There's a comment written in like the lower third of the of the front. There's no manhole location for a previous survey. Do we know what that was? Have you, Libby, have you run into it on the property? Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you. The next few slides will show the surrounding properties. Uh, as you can see, there is um, lush landscaping. It is uh, to a point where it screens a majority of the views of the existing residences on the property. Um, although we are looking to harmon harmonize with the surrounding structures, they are pretty well screened even from the front, uh, the front street. Ours will not be as screened to the front elevation. Uh, we do want to showcase the house and its beauty, and I believe that the uh, the town of Goldstream would be uh, would be um, amenable to to having that newer uh, structure up in place. The subject property is on the right. Of course, now the the uh, property has the the existing residence has been demolished. 4222 is on the left to the north of the property. And to the right, we have the next, we have the next two properties. 4223, 4224. As you can see, mature landscaping hides a majority of the uh, of the one-story structures. Can, can I interrupt? Do you think those other lots are about the same size? I believe they are. I would and, and I and I believe uh, there, there is a property that is, I believe, two more lots down from the one on the right. Mm -hmm. It's also a two-story property that was built not too long ago, and it has the same mass and characteristics as the house that we're proposing. Okay. I would think that because of the price of the land yeah. and the, the small footprint, I think the majority of them would probably be yeah. two stories. That's, I would guess the same. For the development. Okay. Across the street, as you can see, there there is no there are no large views of the existing structures, and on the right hand side there is an, another two story two two story structure on the, uh, on the street. Our site plan shows the pr proposed siting of the of the house. Uh, we were able to take uh, or to make use of the special exemptions that were available to a property that is 100 feet uh, deep or less. And that allowed us to have a little bit better uh, building setbacks to be able to get the proposed 2,400 square foot residence on the, on the property and still be able to get a pool. That allowed us to have a, 
and a mended uh, front setback sides and a rear that we didn't really take advantage of it on the rear except for the uh, proposed lap hole. When we get to the landscape portion, the landscape architect was not able to make it today due to injury, uh, but we do have a narrative from his office and we will have a colored um, site plan where I can uh, describe what the plantings, proposed plantings will entail and that'll give us a little bit better graphic of uh, how it will look at its completion. As I said earlier, um, we were going under the auspices of uh, 70.75 in the in the code that allowed us to have a couple of exemptions for the uh, for the setbacks, both one story and two story portions. Getting to the architectural, um, here is a line drawing of the north, south, east, and west elevations. It shows the symmetry of the Gulf Stream Bermuda style, which is the preferred style, with the design manual. Uh, we have um, colonial window mullions. Um, as we said before, the, uh, the, there, is a, there is a lack of indentations except for ingress or egress po points, one being at the front of the house, which is the top elevation, and one being on one side of the house, which is um, a, small, a small court. For the uh, for entertaining, uh, the roof pitch is, is of, of low pitch quality. Uh, it also has the flat cement tile roof, as we stated earlier. The next two elevations are the rear, and as you can see, the the colonial mullions mountains were carried throughout uh, all elevations, including the rear sliding glass doors. <clears throat> uh, when we, get to the, when we get to the landscape architecture, you'll see the screening of each one of these elevations and how it would, would look from each abutting neighbor's uh, yard. Uh, quickly, we have the first floor and second floor available for view, though unless you are inside the house, I know that won't make too much of a difference to you. Uh, secondary bedrooms are on the second floor, and as you can see that the second floor is stepped back from the uh, first row walls. <clears throat> We're now at Dave Bodker's landscape, colored landscape plan. I do have a narrative from Dave, I'd like to read it to you. <clears throat> Within the center island of the driveway, the landscape architects proposing three native thatch palms underplanted with green island ground cover and begonias. On either side of the driveway, two silver buttonwood trees, a cushion hedge, and green island ground cover are proposed. <clears throat> Flanking the front door, foxtail palms will be underplanted with bromeliads. The accent plants on either side of the foxtail palms will be, will be a bougainvillea standards and Hawaii uh, TI plants. The foundation planting will be variegated ginger and liriope. Along the north side of the house, Areca palms proposed to provide screening to the neighbors. Additionally, variegated trinette will be used to tear down the areca palms. Along the south property line, the Kalusha hedge is proposed with existing and relocated Christmas palms. In the backyard, foxtail palms will be provided at the northeast and southeast corners of the property. They will be underplanted with variegated ginger and liriope. <laughs> Areca palms are proposed along the east property line, tiered down with dwarf podocarpus, and a relocated triple trunk Christmas palm is the focal point behind the fountain wall, which is directly behind the pool. You'll see that as the green clump to the right side of the pool. <clears throat> we do have we do have the rendered side elevations provided by the landscape firm. As you can see, the top image is the front elevation, which is screened less than the, than the um, sides in the rear. But as you can see, the sides in the rear are significantly shielded from view. 
to provide privacy to Mrs. Uh, Lyons and Mr. Endress, and also the other way from the adjoining neighbors. We additionally have a planting plan that I think wouldn't be legible at this size. You do have it in your 15 page package. And we have um, the, the full range of, of plantings that, uh, that I discussed. <clears throat> Here again is the artist's rendition of the finished project. We appreciate your time this morning to let us present this uh, project to you for your re review and approval. And we would we entertain any questions that you might have. Are there any questions or comments? I have no. Any things up from the neighbors? Is there anything? Neighbors? neighbors? We've had no, no reply. No comments at all. I, I believe there were some trees that were in question and the, the yeah. neighbors. <clears throat> in a very positive way to uh, uh, resolve it. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I did have a question uh, for the applicant about those two trees. And uh, and I did speak to one of your neighbors that uh, <coughs> lives in the, the multiple dwelling unit behind you. And, uh, but uh, Mr. Vodker had told me that uh, all of the surrounding neighbors were in favor of taking those large trees out. And, and begging might be the, uh, the mm -hmm. Apparently, they're destroying the walls and right. growing mm -hmm. the property. So. And the root systems yeah. are uh, even probably growing into your property uh, that right. would be close to your pool. So, anyway, uh, where are they on the on the east side? Well, they're on the northeast corner and the southeast corner, and mm -hmm. so they have very big uh, canopies that reach out to many different properties and uh what is it what is the plant material? i'm i'm not sure do you know what kind of a tree that oh, is I, I, it's I, a weed I, sorry is it, is it a strangler fig I, I don't think okay. it's that i think they're invasive and from yeah. what i understand they're going out though we like yeah that, that's out. that's part of their plan and all big foxtail right yeah. Yeah. i have a question i, I noticed are you done I'm sorry. i am thanks okay. Um, I'm looking at your north elevation of the landscape. You bring up that sheet that has all four of them, one, two, three, four. And it just struck me the south elevation is a lot less covered than the north elevation. So you see the, the, the second one is the south. Correct. And then the fourth one is the north. Is was it just is there's a reason you did that? Because the second one you can see a lot of the home. Lower, um, okay. Well, it We're is. actually looking over their roof. Um, it's a flat, mid okay. dwelling, and we have um, Christian Conwood there. We have three existing palms we're going to keep there. We might move them slightly, but they'll be there. Um, and I believe there's Rika. Correct. A Rika palm. Rika palm. Where we're doing the. Yeah, okay, that's I just yeah. it's a very noticeable difference in just and, the, way, the height uh, of the road. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. there's a significant elevation yep. change. Yes, the, the, the proximity to the neighbors on the side is higher than one to the back, which right. the condo is a lot lower. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. as the, as a as a human would be standing, they would be seeing it at more of an angle, and they would they would Ten more. artificially make it taller plantings. And moving on to that point of the difference in um, construction and difference on levels, I saw in the supporting letter it says. Grading and drainage have been designed not to impact neighboring properties, which obviously if something's higher, you've got a bit of a challenge. Is that well you have you ha we have to keep the first uh, inch of water on the property. Yep. And it has been graded so that it is not creaming off of north, east, or west uh, properties to go into the neighbor's property. Yep. And that's for the town code. And we had to make in our narrative, we had to state that that the uh, that the civil plan was was designed in that way, which we have a copy of it in the. Uh, right. In the, uh, I can interject too, Joe Pike. Uh, you probably all know him very well in bio design. Yeah. He's done civil for it, so great. He's always thorough and, and uh, attentive to the details. Thank you. I noticed no septic. I'm just so it's on the sewer. Luckily, no. It's we're yeah. going to be able to tie into sewer. Right. Great. Yeah. Otherwise, this project wouldn't have been. Uh, would have been nowhere able to, to, to <laughs> isn't the infrastructure it. already in uh yes okay down to, to um, of course yeah but and, uh, the prior owners that right I, I remember they were doing that when we were working on county roads so that was interesting so I'm glad that's yeah. that was a godsend yeah. the uh 
500 gallon tank. That's propane for generator? Liquid propane, right. Mm -hmm. um, question, I'll preface it before I ask it, that I love the way the home looks from the road. <laughs> but is there any way to, to screen the second story a little bit more from the road? I mean, I, 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 there's two issues here. One, you want to feature a beautiful home. The other feature is, it's a lot of mass when you look at it, the road. It doesn't look like that now, but when it's 30 feet tall, it will look that way. Yeah. I'm sorry. They're utility lines that are just above. So it didn't allow us to put a larger tree. tree we there. had to put in oh. smaller trees. And the house in front of us to the west is set down, mm -hmm. um, as well as another sort of mid-century house with a flat roof. Um, are, the, are those lines coming out? Uh, yes. Uh, we hope. We hope. <laughs> they are so. Uh, I mean, we would love to have a, a slightly larger tree because it would allow us to elevate it and give us, since we don't have a garage or a car park, yeah. some way to shield our, our vehicles. But at the time, we're, we're dealing with. Um, well, those big top steel palms will get pretty big. And in the, in the rendering, they're already showing them kind of blocking the second story. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put the two foxtails right in front um, on top. Right, exactly, right close to the house. Mm -hmm. Also, the second floor is stepped back. Yeah, which sure. Is nice. Yeah, that oh, works great. And we're it in a two dimensional flat picture as opposed to, to mm -hmm. in yeah. real life. That's going to be a further back and less, less impactful than it looks to be. Do you have any idea if these setbacks were changed because of the allowances under special exceptions? How small of a home, terribly small, would, would you be forced out? Probably 30. 40% less. 30 to 40% less. And, and it wouldn't be it would be feasible. It wouldn't be feasible. You don't you don't have a garage as is here. I mean, it's a right. nice design for but so 30 to so instead of a 2500 square foot home, you're looking at a 1700 square foot home. Just under 1900. Oh, you did that? Yes. That's that's a very small home in this day and age, right? I mean, you, well, you wouldn't you, you can you wouldn't, wouldn't make any sense. That's the, the point. Yeah. Lot, just that small. Well, I'm just trying to figure out I mean, th there has to be reasons to you know, and, and and the and the code was was very well done. Yep. The design manual, which is illustrative and, and voluminous, yep. um, covers a lot of contentions or covers a lot of potential issues that you would run into. And right. and whoever put that together did an excellent job. Yeah. And there's a, a lot of similar lots that we might be facing because there are a lot of mid-century homes that I I think might be coming down in the. I, I can see that area being right for this. Absolutely. So I, I, I already know one of our neighbors is already. Anticipating trying to put a second floor. Yeah, on because... yeah. Any other questions? The shutters are black, correct? Is that your color? No, they are blue. Well, they're New York State, New York State, State of Mind. Well, they're they're what? Oh, what? New York State of Mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so there is a blue team. And, and I, I've had various clients in my office that that that's all your rendering, and one matched the identical color scheme. Uh, it's uh, when we're doing the anything that has a uh, a style uh, of antiquity, uh, they believe the the colors, especially the the small amount of blue with the uh, with the project is is a is a beautiful beautiful example of choice. And let's uh, the the white Chantilly lace. Yeah, also, right. while we're staying <laughs> vernacular, the <laughs> so they have they have wonderful names, and as you can see from the rendering, they. Uh, uh, they look beautiful. Sure. Just out of curiosity, Libby, have you had done test borings for that pool? Aren't you on just solid coral there? We are. You're going to have um, to. We've spoken to a builder about it. He has, um, he said it's actually really not that difficult. They okay. come in and they can do it in one day, but, oh, good. Um, okay. you know, we're not going to go that deep on this pool. It's, you know, we're talking about five feet probably maximum. More of a lap pool? Yeah, I mean, yeah, honestly, a, it's going to be more like just a water feature, but at least my children can go in there and it right. feels like the neighborhood wants to have that. Um, since I can't have the garage, that was the best alternative. Right, right. right. How yeah. do they remove the, the coal? Do they have to blast or do they? They do don't actually, apparently, difference? from what I understand, um, a limited, they come in with a truck and they scoop. basically scoop it out. He said it's actually fairly easy. I was worried about that. Yeah. Um, I think there is an appetite on both neighbors to put in a pool. 
Mm-hmm. So we've sort of suggested to them if they're interested, maybe they need to do that sooner rather than later so they can use our access. Okay. It'd be a lot easier to go back, go back there um, while before this is under construction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any other questions? I have one question. The, ele- the top of the roof is what, 25 feet? 27 feet. 27 feet. 21? I believe it's 27 feet. 27 feet. What is this? What is that number? 25 feet. 25 feet. 25 feet. I'm looking at it. And what, what was the max that you could have gone to? Or is that right at the max? Good. The ceiling heights for, for, for a typical home in 2022. This is a, a reflective of, of trying to keep that mass. Yes, I, that's the number. The number seems low, but you probably could have gone to 30. 30, 30 feet. 30. Okay. Yeah. I'm just making the point that you're, it's a good point, I think. Five feet below the. Attempt to, again, keep the mass. In. What will the ceiling heights be? I, I didn't. It'll be, it'll be nine, nine. Nine inside, okay. And Both floors. Yeah. Okay. We, were, we were trying to do 10, but we also yep. wanted to, to uh, understand. special paint yep. to, to make sure it's not too long. Anybody else have any questions? Any comments from no. uh, questions no. or comments? No. Move a little more. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of a special exception to allow a front setback of 25 feet as provided in section 70 25 brackets I. Been moved and seconded, Rita. Mr. Doherty? Yes. Vice Chair Murphy? Yes. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mr. Roche? Yes. Chairman Smith? Yes. I'd like to make another motion to recommend approval of a special exception to allow each side setback of the principal building to be 10 feet and the rear setback to be 17 feet 8 inches as provided in section 70 75 brackets E. I'll second. Moved and seconded. Rita, please. Mr. Doherty? Yes. Vice Chair Murphy? Yes. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mr. Roach? Yes. Chairman Smith? Yes. The next motion is to recommend approval of a special exception to allow a rear setback for minor accessory structures, brackets pool, to be 10 feet as provided in section 70 75, brackets E. I'll second. Moved and seconded, Rita. Mr. Doherty? Yes. Vice Chair Murphy? Yes. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mr. Roach? Yes. Chairman Smith? Yes. Another motion to recommend approval of a special exception to allow up to 2,500 square feet of floor area on lots of less than 7,576 square feet as provided in section 70-72, brackets A. I'll second. Moved and seconded. Mr. Doherty? Yes. Vice Chair Murphy? Yes. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mr. Roach? Yes. Chairman Smith? Yes. And finally, I'd like to make a motion to recommend approval of a level three architectural site plan to permit the construction of a single family, two story, 2,498 square feet Gulfstream Bermuda dwelling with a swimming pool. I'll second. Moved and seconded, Rhea. Mr. Doherty? Yes. Vice Chair Murphy? Yes. Mrs. Jones? Yes. Mr. Roach? Yes. Chairman Smith. Thank you. We like it. Looks great. Anxious to see it come up. You may start a popular thing on the yep. street there. Yeah. Let's hope so. <laughs> so, Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, since we talked about the, the overhead lines there, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you up to speed. Uh, actually, the staff is meeting uh, with FPNL next week for a pre construction meeting. Uh, before they come in, in hopefully in, in two weeks to begin to start taking the poles down in the core. Uh, they'll be starting on uh, Golf View and moving north. Good. So, Long awaited. I, I know. And the, the process, uh, you have to remember, I mean, we've got narrow streets, we've got a lot of tight spaces, and so that's why we're doing a, a construction plan. I mean, they don't just show up on golf view and say, well, let's go get that one. And let's go get that one. There's it, got to be a plan and, you know, there's some maintenance of traffic involved and, uh, and, and they have to be careful to, about not destroying things when they get into it. And so the job uh, they estimate will take about two months because they have to be very careful about how they get in and out of the property. Will they pull the poles out of the ground or are they going to cut so them much. off at ground level? They did something about along my border, my own, they could just cut them off uh, at yeah, ground they, level. They may be doing that. Especially uh, in those right of ways. Right. 
but but if I guess if they're on the street, they'll probably pull them out. Pull them up. I'm not quite sure. That'll okay. that'll come up in the instruction meeting. Um, well, we will have to have a party when that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've already uh, made, ten years in ten I've, years in the way. I've already made an appointment with uh, the Coastal Star, such that when the last poll is taken That's out, great. we're going to have pictures. Yep. Yeah, that's and, and so cool. uh, anyway, it'll be well received. Anybody up, any on the board? Any comments, questions, or whatever? No, the public, Mr. Boardman. All right, we're adjourned. Thank you. Thanks, See you in a month.